personal performance tips with Steve Young, sponsored by Pontiac, official vehicle of the Vancouver 2010 Winter Games. Pontiac, ignite the feeling. We're up here on 7th Heaven, just heading down Panorama, and the snow is beautiful. So we're just doing some shorter radius turns and trying to find a rhythm. So I start off nice and easy, not rushing the turns, just gradually turning my feet and following my pole basket. Boom. As I come up to a steeper pitch, I round it out and I start to be a little bit more dynamic, steering with the feet and letting them come under the body. So I start off with a little bit bigger turn until I get my rhythm or my timing down. When I find my timing, I move it a little bit more quickly. The biggest difference between a long turn's timing and a short turn timing is that in the long term it takes a little bit more time and it doesn't happen as quickly as it does in a short turn. So obviously, in a shorter radius turn, the timing happens much more quickly. So to improve your short radius turns, start off with medium radius turns and then gradually tighten up the radius. By starting off with a medium radius turn, you're giving yourself a chance to get your rhythm. Once you find your rhythm, then get yourself going. Once you get a rhythm, pick up the pace and just see how fast you can get your feet going. So why is it that we want to be able to do short radius turns? Well, not only is it fun and exciting, but it also provides us with the skill of having fast feet. And if you have fast feet, you'll be able to experience more of the mountains, such as moguls and tree skiing. So just remember, start off with a medium radius turn, get your rhythm. Once you have your rhythm, see how fast you can get your feet going. From beautiful Whistler Blackcomb, I'm Steve Young. Have a great day skiing.